part of Museveni's plan for putting his son in power has been to destroy all, all other alternatives so that when the time comes, there is only one alternative. Everybody seems to think it's inevitable that his son is going to be president. And now I see some people who are put in that group of Muhozi Ame who I know they don't like him. Some of them even despise him. Some of them don't think anything of him. They actually think more lowly of him than even me. But they are there because they have created an aura of inevitability. Yeah, it's inevitable. He's going to be. But let me tell you something. Everybody who thinks that it's inevitable, you are falling into Museveni's trap. That's what he always wanted because he knew he's going to cut off all alternatives and then present his son as the only alternative and then you all run there. We should make sure that we do not give these people the ability to discredit all opposition people. Why would we believe them? Because if that is the case, then they will discredit everybody. The other one, uh, that one also. The other, the, then the next thing, you're left with no option but Mohoz. You're falling into a trap. For me, I will judge Rukwago by what I see. And what I see is a man who is fighting for the rights of the people who are downtrodden. That's what I know, that's what I see. Now, if he's accused by somebody who has any credibility, maybe I might be convinced to even look into the accusations. But as long as the person accusing is Saleh, Saleh has no credibility whatsoever. He is a symbol of everything that is wrong with Uganda. Everything. How can I believe him over somebody who has been, you know, who has stood out to fight for the rights of people who have been trampled on? So unless there is something more important than Saleh's cheats, there is a war, and I spoke about it some time ago, an economic civil between rich people and poor people in this country. There are people who are the biggest crime that the people in Ruzira have committed, especially in the Rumand, is the crime of being poor. There were, do you know there was a guy who was locked up two years for, because they caught him not wearing a mask? Two years. If you hate Uganda so much, you go and join Mohose's army. Or Odrek Rabog, for that matter. None of them, you see these people have th think that um, uh, it's going to be decided up there, yeah, you know, and the rest of you, the 40 something million Ugandans, uh, for you, nobody cares about your opinion. It is not, there is not, take it for, there is not going to be a Mohozi presidency, and there is never going to be an Odrek Rabogo presidency. The president of this country, after we are getting rid of this dictator, is going to be somebody whom the people choose, not who they, uh, these other people, you know, these, uh, the, the, who want to sit in a kakukuru to protect the, 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 their loot. They say now, how are we going to protect the, our loot? Because they see the man who has supervised over their looting is elderly. But his one thing he has done is he has impoverished Uganda to make sure that only his people have money. Everybody else is supposed to be poor. And there is even, uh, you, you see even all the institutions of government, they are put in such a way that they think all money belongs to the first family or to those people. That's why you see even now URA goes and attaches. I, I even had Dr. Vesic talking about it. Uh, goes going and going into people's bank accounts and removing money, saying that this is money that is owed you for tax. It has happened to me twice, two times. URA removes money from my account. Then you go and say, but I paid all my tax obligations. Then they say, okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. To Jack Webala in future, we shall see how it works out in future. But they are taking money. So any money you put, they will take. And then they come up and say that we have broken all records of collecting taxes. You think people who have, who are on uh, Moses' army are, are, are the people who have undertaken to bury Uganda. It, right now we're on the deathbed. We are not yet dead completely. But now anybody, who, if you see somebody on Moses' army, you tell him you are like those, you know those Ghanaian undertakers who carry coffins while you're dancing. Eh? What does he know? At least his father knew how to talk to people and appease. Moses is drunk with the privilege. You say something that annoys him, the next day they will come and pick you up and go and torture you. Uh, but they, they, when they arrested me in 2019, they were beating me there and punching me, and they were taking videos sending to him. And then they made me kneel down, okay, in my underpants, kneel down, put your hands up, and say from today onwards, I'm going to respect generals, especially General Moors. How can such a person be a president? Are you kidding me? Like, do you hate Uganda? So anybody who is on that Mozi army hates Uganda, you want to bury the country. Because how can you think such a person can be president? 
Like he doesn't have the temperament. He doesn't have any, he has nothing. The only thing he has is his father's genes going through his blood. That's why this thing is we give those people the ability to destroy people's reputations by just associating themselves with them. You know, you know, let me tell you this, and I hope nobody is offended by it. When we grew up, when we were young, um, uh, and you know, in the 90s, you know, there would be somebody in the village who everybody says, ah, that one, I will not mention the sickness, but you know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Now, some of them would even enjoy the reputation. And if he wants to destroy a girl's, girl's reputation, he goes, oh, you say, and as soon as he says that, everybody runs away from the girl, and he's lying. Yeah? You see, so now because he's he, 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 had, we, we, you, he has the ability to destroy yeah, everybody, <laughs> so if if people would even beg him, please, don't, because if, if, even if he has never, you know, he goes and says, ah, oh, I tell you, then people say, why? Then the next thing, nobody is interested in that person. Saleh is a person who has absolutely zero credibility. I wouldn't even trust him to walk my dog. So that this is somebody. Who has his hand in every jar? Every, there is copper in Kasese, Sade is there. There is goldware, Sade is there. Every day, what marijuana in Bulamburi, Sade. Coffee, Sade. What now? How, how, why, why would I listen to Sade accusing somebody like Rukwago? Would I be mad? Sade is a man who has zero credibility as far as I'm concerned. Very negative credibility. He is the epitome of everything that is wrong with this country.